there, it's James here and this is a very different type of episode for our Sekiro playthrough this time around. Uh, basically, I've been having some interesting issues with my game recording software and for whatever reason, sometimes, it, or recently, like, I haven't changed anything about my setup but it hasn't been recording the game audio. Now, last few times I have noticed it, but for this session here, clearly I didn't notice. So I basically have an entire session of a uh, game but no audio. And I thought, well, it's probably not going to be very entertaining, so I thought I would narrate over this uh, session here to let you briefly know what went on and what we actually achieved. So you can see here, I'm getting my ass kicked by Juzao the Drunker, because in the last session, we managed to defeat three bosses, including Gyobu Masataka Oniwa, and um, we got this quite this far, and I nearly beat him the last time, but uh, I got greedy and, uh, well, died. Uh, so basically, that's how it happened. So basically, tired to fight him again. I uh, tried to refine my tactics and tried not to get too aggressive and uh, things like that. But that's, that's basically what you can do in this kind of game. Like it's, it's my fault in Dark Souls and in other Dark Souls games as well. That, um, you know, you get too aggressive, you know, you get the bloodlust and you're like, well, and then you die. Um, so yeah, I'd like to really apologise for this uh, kind of thing. These kind of things don't happen very often. Um, but hopefully we are back to normal. And you can see here, the only the tactic is I just tried to try and get them as low down as I could and then recruit help. You can see here, I've already used my uh, already used my revival and down to half of my healing. As uh, as Joseph likes to say, you know, I just I just tried to go in for 2-1, too many hits and pay the price here. So here we're just using our uh, our friend here as a bit of distraction. Just really just trying to you know, buy ourselves a bit of breathing space and things like that. Just slowly whittle down his health. You can see his health is really quite long. That stamina is building up quite quickly so like I said it's just trying to strike that fine line between uh, uh, as he breaks his poise it basically does a final blow for us there and that's it he is dead and uh, we also discovered dragon rot things last time as well so we did a bit more research and things about that as well so basically there's a bit of ad lib here trying to remember what we actually did and here is the uh, uh, here we're about to fight the infamous burning bull now what you guys aren't going to see is obviously this guy took me absolutely ages and the first real block I hit in this game. Basically because I was, I was talking to Joseph about it. It's basically the game tries to teach you a lot of mechanics and it throws a boss like this which basically you have to throw everything out the window of what you've learned. Um, so over the course of a two hour session, uh, at which point all I did was really fight this boss, I slowly learned that running around and just getting a couple of hits in, running around, a couple of hits in, and that's a, that, that's a tactic, tactic that works. I try finding normally like a normal boss, you know, trying to get the get the perfect parries and the blocks and things like that, and I just end up getting myself set on fire and god. So, this boss, I absolutely hate this boss. Um, it's an absolute, you know, absolute crap boss. It doesn't belong in this game, but hey-ho, you know, these things happen and stuff like that. So yeah, like I said, all, I, I don't know why the audio didn't record and I've caught it for later sessions, but like I said, unfortunately for this session here, I just uh, didn't catch it in time. Um, the only way for me to notice, just a bit of a side thing at this point, is you watch me get absolutely destroyed by this ball of lessons, some lovely music from Final Fantasy X. It's a bit like audio levels in the recording in the corner of the software. Um, it shows a frames per second as well. And it it just didn't, I just didn't notice it. I saw the frames, I thought, oh, frames are fine. It's only later that I noticed, and it's, you know, it seems to be a recurring thing, but because I'm aware of it, I'm catching it and things like that. So, yeah, if you're ever stuck in this boss yourself, the, the tactic I was using this one is basically just run, wandering around, you know, running around, slowly just chipping away his health, you know, and things like that. Just chipping away his health. You know, and just then, just when you do the hits, you build up your stamina bar, and also try and make sure then as well I uh, take the time to relieve my own stamina. I've also got the upgraded shuriken in this one as well, so you can throw it in, it'll do like three quick hits. And you can see there, I uh, got absolutely destroyed. You know, I got a bit, I misread his moves, and I tried to save as much healing as possible. It's that, that charge, the charge of one stops and then comes forward and raises his head. That got me loads of times, absolutely loads of times. Because I'd be like, right, I get my parry ready, get my technique done. Oh, gone. All right. Oh, now I'm god because I just you know get my things wrong all the time. But this game is all a learning experience. But yeah, this, this is. I'm surprised because when I first played this game, 
Uh, I was telling Joseph's a story, is that I got it, I, I beat this guy like, in like my third try. This time I must have chucked like 30, 30 or tries at him, and this is this is basically the last try of the session. Um, I was doing a similar tactic before, and I was like, you know, I was, I was like, I was sat there, because it was still relatively warm, I was sat there sweating buckets, holding my control, about to like open my window and throw it out, and I got quite close, and I said to Joseph, he's, you know what? I'm going to give it one more decent go. If I do one more decent go, then I can finish the session and feel like I've achieved something. But then again, we had achieved something already. Uh, we killed Juzo the Drunkard. Uh, we were contemplating going and fighting the infamous Lady Butterfly, but we decided to leave her for a much later date. Um, especially since we, like I said, we're playing on, with the Path of Additional Hardships. Um, so yeah, it's a lot, it's a lot more difficult, as, as you have seen. So yes, yes, again, I, I hope you enjoy this kind of different, kind of like, uh, style of session. It's, I'm hoping there won't remain like this. I remember when I was back a while when I first started, uh, that first started, uh, that was on here. I thought it was a second stage of the boss right there. And I was like, oh my god, what is this second stage? I totally forget about that. Uh, but hey-ho, here we go. And this, the bull is finally down. Now that took a long time, a very long time, and you're missing out on some horrendous, or horrendous, some beautiful screaming or going like, yay, last it, look at that, way, and things like that. But, hey ho, these things happen. So anyway, I'd like to thank you all for watching, and there'll be some more, hopefully, back to normal Sekiro content coming up soon, uh, where you can watch my uh, rusty self try to remember how to fight uh, these later bosses, because I remember this area, like that castle taking me a very long time. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Bye now.